Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today, we're going to take a look at Kabuto's Ninja from the Cars 2 Mater's Tall Tales episode, Tokyo Mater. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing first. Here we've got his artwork, along with Kabuto's artwork, his name branding, along with Kabuto's, the red background, Cars logo, Tokyo Mater, his die cast sealed in, along with Kabuto's, which, has, which is the flame variant, the metal logo, and the Mattel logo. And on the back, we have the Cars 2 logo, the Tokyo background from Cars 2, and we have Drift Party Mater and Dragon Lightning McQueen, and Kabuto with Flames and Kabuto's Ninja themselves, 2022 Mattel, Mattel logo, Empowering the Next Generation through Play, Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the unboxing. Here we have the Kabuto with Flames and Kab Kabuto's Ninja all opened up and out of the package. But this is about Kabuto's Ninja, so I'll toss the Kabuto with Flames variant aside, since I don't want the Kabuto with Flames. So anyhow, Kabuto's Ninja, along with three more, are 19, I assume, 1995, I imagine, I'd su suggest a 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse 2G two-door, or, or is, like Wingo and Komodo, who I unfortunately don't have, are ninjas that serve, is a ninja that serve, that he along with other three serve as bodyguards of Kabuto. And during their appearances in the Cars to Mainer's Tall Tales episode, Tokyo Mater, they were seen when Kabuto challenged Mater to a midnight drift race to see who was to, the, to determine the winner of the king of all the drifters. And when Kabuto suggested that they will race at midnight, he laughed and he, along with the ninjas, laughed and drove off. And during the, min during the race, Kabuto called out to his ninjas is to and they got Mater surrounded but then at that moment Lightning McQueen showed up in up in his dragon attire and they were all all four of them were were fought off then at the very end and when Kabuto was stripped into stock modifications, which I don't have the stock Kabuto variant, and, and the ninjas laughed at Kabuto and then drove off. And during, its, during the ninjas' diecast releases, he was released three times, in a sing twice as a single, one time in a two-pack with the Kabuto with flames, which I don't need, and in a three-pack, along with Kabuto and Cho, who I unfortunately don't have. And now without any... I mean, there's supposed to be four ninjas released in a diecast, not just one. I mean, what's wrong with Mattel? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we have his angry, determined facial expression, his black grill, dark blue paintwork, head, tail, headlights, no tables on the hood, and a ninja, whatever it is, on the top, side view mirrors, and on both sides we have his, his door, chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires, and the black spoiler, and on the back we have the exhaust pipe, no license plate, just the red taillights, and on the underneath it says Disney slash Pixar, 
Made in Thailand, 2022 Mattel. And now let's pull up some of the other, other Japanese, the, the other 1995 Eclipse. There's Wingo. And some more Japanese cars. We have Kabuto. Kenny. Zen Master Pity. Shu Todoroki. Chuki. Chisaki, Harumi, Suki, and this blue Mazda's name I came up with, I forgot. Tell me from the previous video, tell me the name from the previous video of that car, of the name, tell me the name of this car that I thought of with from the previous video in the comments down below. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Mitsubishi Eclipse is your favorite? Is it the Ninja or Wingo? And which Japanese car is your favorite? Let me know what you think as well as... And should there be four of Kabuto's Ninjas released as, a die, as die casts? And should they be released? And should all four of Kabuto's Ninjas be released as die casts by Mattel? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!